Hello and welcome to another episode of my little, let's just call it knitting, um, podcast because let's be honest I Hi and welcome to another episode of what we should probably call my knitting podcast because not a lot of other things go on in it. Um, sorry about the lighting, it's November. There is no light until May. That's not true, but that's how it feels right now. Um, and I may be more in tune with that because as some of you may know, I do suffer from depression from time to time. Well, no, I live with depression all the time. I suffer from it from time to time. When it's cold and windy and raining and dark outside, I tend to suffer a bit more. That's not what we're here to talk about. Um, what we're here to talk about is my knitting. Having said that, I am a liar of lies. We all know that. And my first thing I'm going to show you is not knitted. It is something I never thought I would do because as I constantly tell people, I don't crochet, I can't crochet. But on Instagram I saw a post that was like accidentally uh, the caption was like I accidentally um, searched butthole instead of buttonhole and then there's a photo of these coasters and there is a pattern for it and my first attempt at that pattern and my first attempt at crocheting to a pattern for I've done one before which kind of came out looking right but yeah this tiny little thing is a cat butt and I think it sort of looks like an inappropriate uh, Christmas ornament for the tree and I have a friend who I'm going to send a Christmas card in a way because I always do and I sort of think she'll get a kick out of it so I'm going to send it to her so um, yeah the pattern didn't state what kind of cotton to use so this is using one strand and it was an excellent test but you're not getting any use out of a coaster this size. I mean, who are you inviting around for drinks this size? Anyway, the reason I wanted to do these, these coasters was because, or is, and I warn you, they've not been washed. They'll go in the wash after I've finished here. The reason I wanted to do them is that we have a Christmas calendar at work. Last year, when I was in a different department, I made a bunch of Christmas cookies um, and put them in a, a tin that I purchased because we have a spending limit. Uh, I was considering doing that and then I saw the coasters and I was like, that would be so fun. So I made four, there are four, slightly modified coasters and they, I like to think of them as torty coloured. Um, the colours are better in the single strand, this is done only two strands together with a little curve to the tail little bendy leg because, well, yeah. I think they're fun, they're functional. You can actually fit a wine bottle on this. Or, you know, a large um, Coke bottle if that's your preference. They're too big for coffee cups, but 
bigger is better, right? I mean, you can put other things on them. You're not limited to coffee cups or mugs. So yeah, I need to get these washed and packaged up and handed in. And I think they're... I hope whoever picks this will think they're fun. With the little pink button. Uh, button. Butthole. And lots of tortitude. Which is a great, great expression. Tortitude. Um, I do love cats. They never have mentioned it. I love cats. So yeah, four of these. I followed the pattern. I I went rogue. Made them slightly bigger than they're supposed to be. Um, but yeah, cat butthole coasters. Or as I like to call them, catbot coasters. And someone did request, because I showed them off on social media, not on Instagram. Because I have a co-worker who follows me on Instagram, but showed them off on Twitter. And someone mentioned that he'd quite like a few if I had some going spare. <laughs> so I'm going to make him a set as well. This is just... 8 by 4 8 slash 4 cotton fingering weight ish I think and on a 4 millimeter hook pretty sure I'm so out of my depths here my mom is sick crochet in the family and she hasn't done it since I was a baby so yeah another finished object Back on track, back on knitting, back in the comfort zone. And it's a flax slide. And how cute is this? Flax slide is a pattern from Tin Can Knits. It goes from this zero to six month size and all the way up to, I think we're, are we in the 60s or 50s inches? I don't know. It's a pretty large um, range. It's just a straight up and down raglan with a garter stitch shoulder and um, sleeve panel. And it's so soft. The yarn is by Knitter's Kitchen. It's the Silver Sparkle Sock. And it's the colorway asteroid, so it's grey, semi-solid. It has sparkles, which I'm not sure you can see in the slide. Um, it was laying on my dining table yesterday, and you could just see the sparkle across it. It's gorgeous. And I use 65 grams for the smaller size. Um, and yeah, no modification, no nothing, just just straight knitting on 3.5 millimeter needles. Um, I don't even think you go down a needle size for the ribbing, or maybe you do. You probably do. Um, there are notes on my. Ravelry page. But yeah, tiny cute. It is for a boy, and there is some um, disagreement between me and a colleague about whether boys can wear glitter. It's grey with silver, silver glitter. Of course, a boy can wear glitter. I mean, it's not sequins. A boy can wear sequins as well. It's just you made it sound like, oh, he'll be covered in sparkles. He will, but it's not as obvious. 
Is it snowing out? No, it can't be. Sorry. Sorry, got distracted. So yeah, finished this. Still have some yarn left over and I'm thinking of maybe doing... Um, is it this one? Uh, maybe doing this bonnet here with some of the leftovers um, as an alternative to the traditional baby bonnet thing and just because I can um, I have often made the uh, devil's cap I think is the way to translate it, the Jodahoo. And while it's really cute, I do want to do something else, I thought. This will be cute. And it uses 25 grams of yarn. I have 35 grams left. Maybe, maybe it'll leave room for some mitts. I'm not sure. Maybe. Who knows? We shall see. I think a matching bonnet would be would be cute. So there. Um, what else have I been knitting on? Well, last week you saw a revival of my Moby Dick, my Sunday tea. I pitied it. It is still out of. Black Hill Cottonwool in the Colorway East Hill. I found two extra skeins, so there is that. I have done the sleeves, which really sounds more impressive than it is because that is all of the sleeve. And since last time, I have been working my way in stockinette on 3mm needles, oh joy. And I caught myself on this. Come on, come on. There we go. I have worked the body from here to here. And on the sleeves. Did I mention the sleeves? So yeah. I need another around 30 rounds to get this done and I kind of want to get this done. This is my Moby Dick. I need to get it done uh, partially because I think it would be nice to wear now before it gets too cold. Um, it is a cotton wool so it has some warmth to it without being too warm which I think would be nice in the office at this point. I can always wear a black long sleeve shirt underneath, but usually I'm not, my arms don't really feel the cold as much. Um, so yeah, it is slightly modified because I, when I ripped back the final time, I didn't rip all the way back for uh, the neck that I was supposed to have, ne number of neck stitches that I was supposed to have because I didn't want to redo this folded over um, neck opening, so yeah. 28 rounds. 28 rounds and then I'm done. So I'm thinking I might be doing that today. Uh, sitting, watching, I have Two post, 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 post. Two podcasts that are knitting podcasts that I haven't watched yet. So the plan is to sit myself down with snacks um, and do that um, while taking a break for laundry. 
which I already sorted, so it's just, that's actually the dark shadow you can see there. Pointing. Who knew? Um, that's my laundry basket. And um, yeah, so that just needs to go down. Actually, no one had my laundry time is in two hours. No one had booked the one that starts now, so it might go down after I finish this. If nothing else, I'll come, I'll just carry my laundry down and it'll wait for me until it's my time. That's a plan. Anyway, so close to being finished. Uh, of course, the 28 rounds just means going into the hem, well, the hem, the lining. The 22 rounds will take me to the length I need. 28 rounds will take me to the length I need. Then you do um, a pearl row, and then you do the underside, which you sew to the underside of your garment. I am thinking that I will actually do a three needle bind off. Oops. There's a rogue stitch there. Um, yeah, I think I'll turn it inside out and do a three needle bind off instead of having to figure out how much yarn I need to sew it down and also having to sew it down. So, bind off and then sew it down. Um, because you still have the same amount of stitches, so it's fairly easy to pick a row, start picking up from that one. So, yeah, there is that. It'll be so good when it's done. I got it. Pfft. Moby Dick. One last thing I've been working on is my Leclerc. Um, I'm getting better at re remembering that it's Leclerc and not Leclerc. And last week, okay, I'm just going to untie this because I tied it a bit too um, close together and I just need to see which side, this is the right side, okay. So, last week, last time, we were all the way down here. I was just, I had the ribbing done and one repeat done. And as you can see, I now have six repeats done. I have band off for the neck. I have done the shoulder shaping. And the instruction says to bind off the shoulders. I would much rather do a three needle bind off um, for It'll give the same stability, more or less. Um, it's just easier. And yeah, so this is the front. And there will be stitches picked up around the neck. It is a pretty high neck. Um, it won't be a cropped top on me. I decided that no, I'd rather have a full length. Uh, top. It is lace so it'll be interesting to see how how it blocks out. Yes it needs to be seamed on the sides. Yes you need to pick up the slouched shoulder, shoulders. But that'll be something for future for you to tackle. Not the current me. So I finished that one and I cast on and finished the ribbing for the back. So now it's six pattern repeats of straight up knitting until I have to do something else for the shoulders and neck than the front. So there we have it. Front down, back to go. It will have short-ish, well not short-ish, it will have short sleeves so really I am more than a third way done.
and that is everything. One of the fabrics I got that I told you about last week, oh just, sorry, just caught my eye here, is this which sort of imitates corduroy in structure um, with the little birdies. And as you notice, this has already been caught. This is actually a remnant of the Irish blouse that I caught. And it's a pretty big remnant. I am making, she doesn't know this, but I am making my co-worker a, a um, drawstring project bag out of some of the remnants because she mentioned when I bought the rest of the fabric at the shop she mentioned oh I should have gotten uh, well, she should have gotten some to make a drawstring bag for herself for her projects and since I have a lot left over a lot but not enough for the garment for me for at least I don't think so if it was going to be anything, it would be the, it would be like a cami, which I think this might be a bit, it's not a heavy fabric, but it's, I'm not sure it would make a great cami. I might have to visit that thought. Um, like I said, I don't think there's enough because it's mostly length and not a lot of width. Although I could maybe do a, I could probably do a cami, maybe a three panel cami, three, four, two sides, two, a front and a back. Hmm. She might not get a project bag. Something to consider. Because I think it could be cute as a loose cami with some simple straps. Oh dear. Oh dear. Um, I'll have to think about that. I cut off out the pattern pieces for the Irish blouse, which is by Sunday Paris, I think. It's a French pattern company and it is in French, it's very simple. I've done a version already and I've done two actually, and I didn't do the facings for the neck because on the ones I already have, I just did, uh, I just used binding to smooth out the, smooth out, uh, hide the rough edge. I find that facings have to be pretty large for them to stay in place and I didn't want that. I also, uh, the sleeves are lined, not self-lined but you sew two pieces together to line them and I, the fabric would be too heavy I think for that um, so I actually have an acetate lining in a light blue that, was, that I was originally going to use for something else and then I did and blah 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 so I have it in my stash and that's what I'm doing the inner part out of so yeah hopefully it'll work out when I start sewing it I am um, I think it'll look cute but really we won't know until I actually got some sewing done whatever that'll be because the mojo and all that. 
But that's it for this week. Yeah. Can't think of anything else. Anyway, I hope you have a great week and I'll see you next time. Bye.